What y'all think about my shirt? So you can see, it's a mouth, the duct tape. Bliss Uncensored is based on speaking your mind, never shutting up for anybody, always speak your thoughts, your ideas, your opinions, because you have the right to them. Not that many countries have that right, but this country does. Welcome to my channel. For anyone that's new, thank you for subscribing. All my OGs, y'all already know what it is. Let's go ahead and react to this video. You know what, hold on. Let me put this camera down a little bit more. Just a little bit. Look at it right there, it's perfect. Right. <laughs> oh, by the way, as you can see, yep, I got my little haircut. Listen, I, I ain't no barber. I don't know any barbers that will come this way. Press, she shaved off my sides, and you know, that's all I need to be comfortable. It's just temporary. So let's get back to reacting to a video, huh? So this tea channel, I think that's what it is, it's called Spill. I've never seen one of their videos, but they do have a million subscribers. And they uploaded a video called, Bad Baby's video has fans accusing her of black fishing. She loses it on them. I'm sorry for my ignorance, but I don't know what black fishing is. So I'm about to learn, and if you guys have more information on it, go ahead and comment below because I like to learn new things. So I don't know this term. But we're gonna go ahead and watch. Y'all ready? Let's watch. Bad Baby makes a shocking claim about her upbringing. Before I get into the story, I just wanna put out a disclaimer. Please do not send any hate to Bad Baby, Koi LeRae, Lil' Kim, or anyone else involved in this story. Okay, This good. video is simply meant to report on the news. Okay, first off, good for you for that little intro. I love that they do not support bullying. I don't as well. So whenever I speak my opinion on somebody, I don't want y'all to send them any hate. And I don't want you guys to go too hard on them in the comments below neither. I just want your opinion. But we can also do it with respect, you get me? All right, let's go ahead and watch. Bad Baby received backlash after talking about her upbringing on Instagram Live. Here's what she, what she said on April 14th. And then another thing I like to say is, y'all, y'all say that I, I try to be black because I, I grew, or I, and maybe a reason of me trying to be black because I grew up in the hood. Tarzan, right? He, he, the story of Tarzan. He grew up around the bears in the jungle. He didn't know no better. He, the the monkeys, the whatever it was, the monkeys or the bears, whatever. All I know was he grew up. He, yeah, listen. Tarzan was with the, with the monkeys. He grew up with that. That's all he knows. Girl, <laughs> you compared yourself to Tarzan? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm late on this type of news, but listen, I'm, I'm reporting it now, okay? Girl, you compare yourself to Tarzan as if you're the human. I'm assuming the people that are around you who are black are not. As if they're animals and shit. Are you fucking kidding me? And I know you didn't mean it in that way, but that sounds so bad, girl. Context, Tarzan is a Caucasian boy who was raised in the jungle by apes and- And by apes at that. Now you know that's already a bad thing. Oh my god. <laughs> and adopted their behaviors over time. Bad Baby's comparison of the hood to the story of Tarzan Girl. upset many people. Cause Tarzan, Tarzan, Tarzan what? I that's need you crazy. That for me. Bad Baby compared her acting black because she grew up in the hood to Tarzan being raised by gorillas? That's crazy. Man, I see where her empty headed was trying to go with this argument and it makes her look even worse. Uh, Tarzan grew up with apes, sis. LMAO. She could have just expressed herself instead of comparing her right. to black culture to Tarzan adopting gorilla behaviors. Also during- Girl, you messed up bad. This is so bad for you. It's such a bad look. You may be young and dumb. I don't know, but you're young. From a lot of the controversies that you are in, you don't think before you speak. You have diarrhea of the mouth. Now I promote everyone speaking their minds, but girl, take a second. Just, just one second to really think things through before you say it. And not only that, but you do this live, girl. If you know you got diarrhea of the mouth, don't go live. <laughs> you're gonna say some stupid shit. When you get older and you're still in the spotlight, you do realize that everyone's gonna bring this back up again. <laughs> you fucked up, girl. In the Instagram live, Bad Baby made a comment about the race she was accused of appropriating. If I wanted to be black, you would hear me talking about I'm black, I'm black. I would be saying the N-word, I would be doing that, that, that black people do. I don't act black, I don't, I don't talk about who wants to be black. I don't understand that. I really just can't comprehend it. Bad Baby. Okay, so... <laughs> 
I don't like that neither. I don't like when people say you're acting black or to someone who is black, you're not acting black enough. Like what the fuck does that mean, yo? This all stems from stereotyping. But there's a lot of things that add up to your behavior. It, it could be in the environment you live in. It could be in the family you're raised in. It can be the education system. It can be the fucking internet, social media. If you're low income, middle class, upper class, all that affects the way you behave and the way you act. It doesn't necessarily mean culture, you guys. So stop saying you have to act a certain race. It's stupid. Any group that you associate yourself with, whether it's black, white, Mexican, Asian, whatever, you're gonna adapt to those behaviors. But girl, you're going about it the wrong motherfucking way. Baby also addressed her recent drama where she was accused <sighs> of black fishing in recent photos. For context, on April 6th, she got her makeup done by makeup artist Alexandre Jeros Valenzuela. Here are the videos of the look that Bad Baby shared on Instagram. All right. That's you, girl? That's you? Listen, I'm gonna say this. She looks beautiful. She looks gorgeous. And I don't can care less about the girl. That makeup artist, great work. Amazing, talented man. If they're talking about the coloration, I don't know if they're using makeup on her to look a little bit darker, a little bit tan looking. And I'm assuming the wigs. If I'm talking to some people in the black culture, I understand why they get upset when other cultures take that on. It's part of who they are. They just don't really like anyone just putting these wigs on not, not really appreciating the culture of it all. So I get it, but at the same time, I understand why people do wear, why these women do wear wigs. It's because it's beautiful. It, it's a form of expression. Just like tattoos, just like any type of hairstyles, makeup even. It's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Like, I don't know. I understand both sides. Some of the comments on those posts. Stop blackfishing. Bad baby went. That's not even the same person. What the? F her face, her body. There were many people who defended bad baby as well. Maybe I can't see straight, but she doesn't look like she's blackfishing at all. Guess what? Italians get tanned. Guess what? Full face of makeup makes you look darker. Get over yourselves. Alexandre also posted a video of Bad Baby on Instagram, and people commented on the foundation he used. The foundation is literally from Black Opal, a company that has most shades for POC. She looked the same skin tone as China, and you use the same products. To address the last comment, Alexandre did use the same brand of foundation on Black China. Here's a photo and video. However, it's unclear what shade he used on China and Bad Baby. And to address the first comment, Black Opal Beauty says in their Our Story tab, We are inspired by the beauty and nuances of black skin. Black Opal was created by passionate individuals to develop the color cosmetics line for women of color. However, Black Opal also says, No matter how unique your shade, your tone, or your heritage, we see you and we celebrate the fire in you. They also have a Find Your Shade tab, which showcases shades from fair to deep. It's possible that Bad Baby used the light or fair foundation shade, but we can't say for certain what shade or product Alexandra used. In Brand. the Instagram Live, Bad Baby explained the makeup light made her skin look darker. I get my makeup done, now I'm black! Get out of here! The way the light was, that's a, a, a makeup light is supposed to, that, I just, I guess, it, I'm not supposed to, but it just made me look darker. So, and the makeup wasn't even blended. Y'all like gave me contour on my face before it was even blended. Like, come on, y'all are stupid as bad. But why even explain yourself? If you're going to explain yourself, Tarzan was not the way to go. You fucked up with that, okay? And maybe the makeup artist, has, has he come out with a statement? I, okay, let me, let me stop talking and let me watch this video. Baby also defended herself by commenting on the appearance of Native American and African American rapper Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim wears foundation that and no disrespect towards Lil' Kim. I, I'm actually a fan of her. I have no disrespect towards her. But the girl wears foundation that's too light for her face. The girl went and got a nose job to have to have a smaller nose like white people. Like y'all don't see that? She turned herself into and I'm like I said no disrespect towards her. She do I don't I don't have no problem with it. She do she do what make her happy. That's on her. But like I'm saying she literally got surgery to make herself look like a white person. She's wearing 
white light, makeup that's light, and y'all don't say a goddamn word about her. No, girl, there's been plenty of comments about that. <laughs> many, many, many comments, a lot of criticism. Y'all don't say a goddamn word about her, but I put on a foundation that makes me look tan. That makes me look tan, that I didn't even do, that Alex did. I didn't tell him what color to use on me, he, he used whatever color he thought was gonna work on me. We pointed out the reason behind Lil' Kim's nose job and lighter makeup style. Lil' Kim was abused and had to have surgery, and been cheated on by multiple men who preferred women with European features. And this seems to be true. To further explain, here are some quotes from Lil' Kim over the years. Lil' Kim spoke about her nose job in a 2005 interview with Source magazine. I got out of a relationship with a very abusive man. I came out of the hospital from getting my nose done and he broke my feet again. Oh. I had to have MRIs because I couldn't even move. I had blood clots in my back. Damn. The doctor had to fix nose because it was almost shattered. You really can't tell, but if you look close, it goes to the left. Lil' Kim explained her past relationships Damn. impacted her self-esteem. In a 1996 interview on BET Talk and 2000 interview with Newsweek. When I was younger, I've had a lot of relationships where men used to tell me that I wasn't all that, that I was ugly, and without them I would be nothing. It's always been men putting me down just like my dad. Guys always cheated on me with women who were European looking. You know, the long hair type. Really beautiful women that left me thinking, how can I compete with that? Being a regular black girl wasn't good enough. Lil' Kim has also admitted to using Instagram filters in 2016 when she posted a photo with Kim Kardashian that was much lighter than Kim's repost. Lil' Kim explained, I lightened up the picture because I like when the makeup pops a little more, and you can see the beauty of the makeup. Both pictures are completely gorgeous and are a matter of expression of preference of photography. Back to the story. The okay, <laughs> just let's keep watching. Next day, on April 15th, Lil' Kim responded to Bad Baby's drama on her Instagram story. She said, That Lil' Kim hate different. How f I become a target in the middle of a pandemic? <laughs> now that's power. There's more important things going on in the world right now, but you better believe when this is all over, I'ma put a date and address on it and seal it with a kiss. <laughs> Stay home and stay safe and don't forget to disinfect. There's a lot of rodents running around with the virus. Also on April 15th, Puerto Rican and African American- Okay, a comment on Lil' Kim. She obviously has issues. Traumatic issues, PTSD. I ain't no doctor and I'm not clinically diagnosing anything. But at the same time, she's basically justifying her actions of lighting her skin and, p and filtering her pictures because of the traumatic experiences she had with men. Do I believe that that's a reason why she does what she does? I don't know. She could very much want to look, want to be, or look more white for some fucked up reasons, but she's not gonna really flat out say it because it's gonna be so controversial and she really don't need that shit. But it's true, I mean, she got she got criticized too, bad baby. Can rapper Coyle Ray and who's this? Bad Baby to publicly apologize for her Tarzan comments. This live is not only, is really not for y'all, it's for her. So, she's your friend? Okay. It's for her to understand that you know what you said was wrong. So, number one, we're gonna apologize no, for it. No, 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 compared black people to monkeys. I never did that. All right, you I don't have to. Listen, 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 listen. We're not gonna repeat nothing. We're not gonna repeat nothing said. At the end of the day, we know what you mean. We know what you mean, bro. But what you said right. did not come out how it was supposed to. Right. So Her comparison was very bad. It was a very bad choice. We know she didn't mean it in that way. So bad baby, if you're if you don't see how wrong that looked and the, that the comparison was horrible was a horrible choice apologize for that but if you're not going to then don't you're gonna keep getting hate you're gonna keep getting you're gonna keep getting bullied and by that by the end of the day you're gonna end up deserving it but if you apologize in this life i i'm not gonna take it very genuine i'm not gonna take it very serious because you still see nothing wrong with it hey i make mistakes daily bro that make me better a better person bro bad baby somewhat apologized what'd she say if anyone took my words and twisted them in their head and, and just said you know what i'm gonna do to the point no you can do like if anyone if anyone if anyone took offense to what i said i apologize my my comment was wasn't made 
like even for the black people, I was talking about myself, period. I wasn't comparing myself to You have to explain. That's it. Okay, that's it. Yeah. That's if, it. If, if sorry, that's your problem. That's it. If anyone took it the wrong way, I'm sorry. That's not your fault. I didn't No. No, that's it. I'm no. sorry. What do you mean? That's not no. your fault. That's just saying that sorry. Just say, bro, that's it. Say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but no. That's I'm it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Girl, that girl Koi, that rapper girl Koi right next to you, that is not your friend. You may think that she is because she's letting you know that you're wrong. Most real friends would do that. But let me tell you why she's not your real friend. She got your ass on live knowing that you were not going to apologize the way people would want to apologize. Because you're stubborn, you're hard-headed. But Koi is going to go ahead and still put your ass on live, put you on the spot, make you look worse. Girl, this conversation that you're having with her could have been offline because she still wasn't getting it. That conversation could probably take days. And the second that she realizes and it finally fucking hit her, that's when you film a video. Not live, film a video and then post the apology. This ain't it though. Girl, she made you look worse, bad baby. That's it. Don't play. Don't play. Bro. Don't play. I'm not laughing. But then I don't give a fuck about these people. Like I didn't know. No, 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 don't stop thinking. And, and you know, you made a mistake, bro. You were just, you were in, bro. People say so much out of anger. It happens. It happens. You need to understand. It happens. That. But just be a woman about it, bro, and just let them know that it's not going to happen again. I apologize when you're wrong, girl. That's it. Now she, get me mad. You heard what she said. I'm out of here. Also in the live, Koi pointed out that she knows Bad Baby isn't racist. She's not. I know for a fact she's not racist. She's not. I'm black. I'm Puerto Rican. And I would never hang around anybody mm. that thinks they could go ahead and disrespect where I come from. Right. Period. Koi also said Bad Baby has a good side that we don't see. Y'all don't even see the side. All y'all see is bad, 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 bad. Nobody sees that you and your mom are planning to go ahead and get back. But, but, not, they see, but they see, but they see. Like that, I don't feel like, I feel like my post like that is not from the heart. Okay. Koi asked people to stop hate commenting on Bad Baby. More the story is, you know, put, <laughs> let her go ahead and do what she need to do. Anybody that's going to go ahead and say anything negative, bro, really look in the mirror and go ahead and, you know, you, it sound like you insecure. Listen, like, no cap, bro. <laughs> what? Like, the fact that, like, you're, like, just from death threat, uh, always, always talking about the whole Dr. Phil thing constantly, saying she's ugly, saying she want to be black, calling her mom a bad mom, saying she's racist, saying she don't, she's wearing fake things. Telling my mom she get her cancer back? And bro, all that is. Weird. Also on April 15th, I agree. Alexandre addressed the- I am so against bullying. And y'all need, need to leave this little girl alone. Let her know where she's wrong in a respectful way and maybe she'll open up her eyes. But the way everyone's doing it, it's getting her more upset, getting her more mad and being more prideful. So instead of teaching this girl a lesson, teaching her where she went wrong, y'all are making it worse. And it's all for your entertainment. That's the worst thing of it all backlash she received for how he did Bad Baby's makeup. Alright, let's hear it. Because a lot of you swore black fishing because of a stupid filter and beauty light. I want to drop this picture right here. Uh, for all damn. Of you ignorant people damn. on my page harassing me and speaking negative about my artistry and on how I choose to glam my client Bad Baby. Mm. I want to first say I am a strong, proud African Latino man. Let me rewind that picture. See? This man is a very... I like him. I gotta follow him on Instagram. I like his work and his professionalism and the way he speaks. Let me go back to that picture Here. real quick. That's how he did her makeup. That's exactly how he did the makeup. Now, whoever filtered that picture, and I'm thinking it was her because she said it was because of the lighting and whatever. But it wasn't his fault. Okay, I like that. Let me get back to his statement. A human being at that, that bleeds the same like all of you. All of the makeup products I use, I believe in 100% and use them on all my clients of all races and different skin textures. For a lot of you to say black opal beauty is only for women of color it's is so ignorant and racist. A really lot racist. Of you that choose to bully Danielle, and yes, I said bully because that's what you do to her, mm -hmm. need to get some help because it's really sick that you are so invested in someone else's life that you've never met and probably will never meet. Mm. It's a 
sick obsession and you all need to see a therapist for immediate help because you are obviously not happy in your life to always be wanting to yes. point out someone else's flaws yes. or comment on what you don't preferably agree with. Uh. So to get back to the focus and the sole purpose of this beautiful photo, overall... Now that's what I mean when I say speak your mind, speak your opinion, speak your thoughts. It was exactly that. Great example. It seems that Bad Baby doesn't quite know the severity of her words, but it's great to see Koi holding her accountable for her actions. Furthermore, it seems Alexandre did not mean to darken Bad Baby's skin. According to both of them, it was the lighting in the room that made her appear darker on camera. What did okay. you think of the makeup? What are your thoughts on Bad Baby's comments about The Hood and Tarzan? What do you think about these stories? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, I like this channel. I'm gonna subscribe to it. What I think about it, I think those pictures were beautiful. With the lighting or without the lighting? With the darker makeup or without the darker makeup? Doesn't matter, it was beautiful artwork. Now Bad Baby and her Tarzan comments was stupid. Girl, you messed up. You messed up horribly. But we live and we learn. She's really young. Let her live and let her learn. And since y'all ain't teaching her correctly, she's gonna have to learn on her own. So give her a chance to grow. Hopefully she'll apologize the correct way. <laughs> I don't know, those are my thoughts. Comment below, let me know what you think about this. I know it's a sensitive subject, but it is what it is. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.